Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the part two, the writing part of the end of term exam questions for the grade 11 advance. Here we will have seven questions. It's a bit plenty because there are seven. Now these seven questions all must be written in detail. You can't directly jump to conclusion. Try to write each step possible. You can skip some steps as long as you have understood it properly. That's fine. But if you just jump all these steps and write the answers, it's not you. You won't be getting enough marks. So make sure you detail everything in writing and uh, write each and every you know substitution formulas and then solving as well. You can use the calculator to solve it. But, you know, the steps must be there. Substitution must be there and then solve it in calculator. That's fine. So that's how we do. Um, we, we have to do it. Now we will look into the first question. That's the question number 16. Here it is to solve exponential inequalities in one variable. This is the easy part because it's just one variable. There is equations or inequalities. Now this is equation. I'm sure you might know how to do it and calculate it directly substitute it. You'll get the answer. But now we need to do the steps. Whenever you have exponential, how do you remove it? So exponential can be removed. Now, now there are different ways to solve this in the first place. Now you can take log on both the sides and solve. That is possible. Uh, if you know log thoroughly, that's the way to go. Now the other way is relating these both. Uh, how do you relate these both is look at this base here look at this number 8 and 64 how can you relate these both you can see that 8 squared is 64 right over here since it's exponential you must think in terms of powers now even if you don't get this you can use your calculator and check because that's fine because the first step requires you to write in terms of squares right Square, take the square root of 64 or if that doesn't work take the cube root of 64 if that doesn't work take the power 4 I mean here when you do this only square root it won't have anything you will get the answer 8 so that means 8 square is 64 this is a relationship you got over here so what we can do over here is write this 8 4x plus 2 as it is equals 8 square now there is a rule stating if there are two exponential functions equated to each other and the bases are same, whatever is up over here, the exponents will be equal. That means, if you write this as 8 squared, now I can equate 4x plus 2 equal to 2. This is the equation. Now then, what do we have to do? Here, just solve for uh, x. 4x equals this 2 goes to the other side. It will be 2 minus 2. x will be equal to 0 for x x is equal to 0. Now let's apply this in the question and check our answers. Is it true? 4 times multiplied by 0 plus 2 is equal to 64. Is that correct? Yes. 0 plus 2. 8 squared is 64. That means 64 equals 64. This is the check. If you do so much, you will get definitely full marks, whatever the marks is there. Now let's see what is written in the over here. They have just done the x equals 0. You don't need to do the check. But you can do the check. That is, whatever x you found, put it in the question and both must be equated. That's it. So this is how we solve it. Same concept is used over here. Now look at this. What is 125? You can check it and calculate it. If you do square root of 125, you will get some weird number. It's not 5. But if you do cube root, then you will get 5 cube is... Yeah, sorry, cube root is 5. That means 5 cube is 125. So here, 5x minus 3 equals 5 cube. And then equate the exponents only. x minus 6 equals 3. x is equal to 9. This, uh, but do it in detail, sorry. Don't do like what I did. Uh, write it in detail and then you can do it as 9. Okay. But it's understood it's directly equal to 9. But the steps are important over here. That's it. So please try to do the other problems also. Now we will see this one. Here inequality is there, but that's fine. Doesn't make any difference. Now here, how can you find this one? You know, 5 square 
no, see, the hint is whatever is this number. That is a huge hint over here. So now what we do is let's I will show you how to do it in calculator. I know this will be 5 to the power 4, but how to do it in calculator is let's take the calculator. We are not solving this directly in calculator. We are just finding the uh, you know exponent in terms of 625 in terms of um, you know 5 to the power some, something. Because that's the step one. That's fine. You can you should know it in your mind, but even you can use your calculator, it's fine. One way to do it is 5 squared. Check it. Okay, it's 25. 5 cubed, it's 125. 5 to the power 4, 625. This is a hint. The other side, you know, they have given it as 5. So this is one hint. Now over here, you can try this 4 squared. Okay, it's not going to work. We know 4 cube is also not true. Now, what about 4 to the power 4? 256. So here we can write it as 4 to the power 4. So this is how the next term gives you a clue that, okay, you must use that. It may not be exactly that. It might vary also, but that's a nice clue. So here you just do 5 to the power 4 is greater than or equal to 5a plus 8. Now here it's inequality doesn't matter this basis are same so 4 is greater than a plus 8 greater than or equal to take a to the other side my it'll be 4 minus 8 minus 4 is greater than or equal to a that will be the answer okay what did I miss over here sorry the question is wrong over here I believe because you can see the question original equation is supposed to be 2a. So whatever we did for this question is correct. It would be 4. But here the question is 2a, which I just realized. So if it was a only, what I did over here, please follow this. This is the correct answer. It will be negative 4a. But if it's this particular question, then it was 2a over here. So it will be 5 to the power 4 greater than or equal to 5 2a plus 8 equate this 4 is greater than or equal to 2a plus 8 this goes to the other side minus 4 is greater than or equal to 2a minus 2 is greater than or equal to a that's the solution set that means you can write a first over here a first it will be less than or equal to minus 2 that's it it's the other way of writing it now this one is done so please make sure you solve them by yourselves and check for the answers over here now this one you can look at this you can write it in terms of three both can be written as three because there is no way this is related nine squared is 81 no 20, uh, 27 how to get in terms of you know common term three square is nine three cube is 27 that's how we do it so another way to understand is just try to square uh, take the square root of the first number 3. So try to relate this in terms of 3. I know 3, three, is, 3 to the power 3 is 27. That's one way to do it. Okay. Now then it's direct substitution. You can check direct steps. Same thing here. But it's just that you are 1 by 27. How would you do this? You can easily relate this again with 3. But you can see it's divided by 27. So what happens is. First I know 1 by 27 is equal to 1 by 3 to the power 3 but here there is another rule whenever you bring from the denominator up to the numerator it becomes minus power 1 by 3 power 3 you can check in your calculator is equal to 3 power negative 3 okay so uh, or else I'll just show it let's take out our calculators here all you do is 1 divided by 27 this will give us that itself but now if you do 1 power 3 power 3 it's again 1 okay now this doesn't help but now what what I'm trying to show is 3 power minus 3 that is also 1 by 27 all are equal okay that's a, that's how we can do it now we need to write this in terms of 3 power negative 3 and what about this 81 we know it's 3 power 4 3 power 4 is 81 so this can be written as 3 power negative 3 this is written as 3 power 4. Now here it's power the whole power. So multiply these two exponents. Minus 3 multiplied with this terms. So it will be minus 3 times. Wait, I'll just show it over here. You must be very careful with this. This term multiplied with this. It will be minus 3. Now we know the bases are equal. You can just ignore the base. 
2d minus 2 is less than or equal to 4 times d plus 4. So here we will get negative 3 times 2 is negative 6d plus 6 less than or equal to 4d plus 16. And then we solve it. See over here, then we solve it. Because I will just make one thing clear over here. If you have any number a, uh, let's take a to the power x. Okay. And we have a power y. Here there are two bases, separate bases. The power is x plus y. But the same thing if you have a power x, the whole power y, you're taking power, it will be a x into y. In the sense, if you have 2 to the power 3 multiplied by 2 to the power 4, it will be addition 2, 3 plus 4, 2 to the power 3 plus 4, that's 2 power 7. Whereas if you have power and power 3, the whole power 4, it's multiplication. 3 times 4 is 12. This is the answer. This is two separate answers. So be careful with this. Now then, same concept can be used over here. 1 by 2. We know 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3. And this is 2 to the power minus 1. Okay, that's it. And please make sure you understand each step, solve it by yourself and then check the answers. Over here also it's the same, see 1 by 5, I know this can be written as 5 squared, this is 5 to the power minus 1. Multiply minus over here, it will be minus 6 plus 5 and over here it will be multiply this entire term by 2. And that's it. And uh, here as well, it's the same thing, just the inequality, don't worry, keep the inequality as it is and solve it up, okay. We have done this inequality problems as well. Here now 64 and 32. Both of these are related to 2. 2 to the power 5 and 2 to the power 6. There is no other, you know, uh, relation with them. It's 2 to the power itself. And since it's about exponential, we need to get in terms of power exponents. Okay. And here as well. Now here this one again, 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 3. Then both comes up, it will be negative powers and then you solve it up. Here as well, please make sure you solve it and then check the answers. These are again same. Don't worry about the inequality, keep it as it is, solve. Just think of this as equal to only and solve it. Same like that, doesn't matter. Again, it is a direct problem. We have done this at the beginning. It is 3 to the power 4, 3 itself. Just make sure well, while you multiply this 4, it's a very important. It's 4a, 4 times 2 is 8. And here as well. Now, what is this? 10 to the power 3. This is 10 to the power 1. That's fine. So you should just write this in 10 to the power 3. This is 10 to the power 10 only. Only this term. 5b plus 2 will be greater than 3. All the exponents will be equated. And then solve it up. Uh, that's... This is also similar. Now, I know 2, 1, 6 is related to 6, 6 to the power 3 it is. So, you can directly write 6 to the power 3. If you don't remember, don't worry. Whenever you have this term, it's a hint. So, take your calculator, do 6 to the power 1, 6 to the power 2, 6 to the power 3, you will get it. Maximum 5. Just check till 5, the number must be available within that. Here now, it is not 8. 8 to the power 2 is 64. There is no relation. It's not even 4. 4 to the power 2 is 16, but it doesn't relate with 8. It is 2 to the power 3 and 2 to the power 4. See, so it's 2 power 3 is 8, 2 power 4 is 16. Then you solve it up. Here there are two numbers. Let's do this up. What you do is, see, 25, right? It will be 5 squared by... Okay, first of all, we need to relate these both. Now, yeah, this is correct, 5 squared. And now I know this can be related by, there are two numbers. Let's take a calculator and check. I think so 9 is possible. I'm not so sure. 9 or 3. Okay, 3 is definitely possible over here. But I think so even 9 is possible. Let's check. Here, let's just check for 3 now. 3 to the power 5, 3 to the power 6. Yeah, 3 to the power 6 is fine. But let's just check for 9 because I know 9 squared is 81. 9 squared is 81. And 9 power 3, I think so, A729. Yes. So now what I would do is instead of 3, it will be a huge power, right? I will write it in terms of 9 and solve it up. So what you do here, 
write this as 9 square equals 2x plus 1 and also there is one more hint these both must have the same power only then you can take it as common term because if it was 3 it would be 3 to the power 4 which would be again difficult you know now this you can rearrange and do it but that will be more complicated so that was my main hint to go for 9 and over here 9 to the power 3 and 5 to the power 3 this is uh, this is the main thing. Now what you do, you need to get the basis equal. How can you get the basis equal? Just by changing the sign. So what you basically do over here is, first thing, let's uh, write the question over here, 3x plus 1. Now what you do is, write 5 by 9, the whole square, the whole power 2x plus 1. Same thing here, 9 by 5, the whole cube, the whole power 3x plus 1, it's minus 3x plus 1. Now, this will be multiplied, but before that, this left side, it's fine. I'll just do 5 by 9, the whole power. 2 times 2 is 4x plus 2 equals. What I'll do is I'll flip this upside down and the sign changes. Why? Because if you bring this from down to up, the sign changes. So, this, take it up to down. The sign changed. Now, this whole thing will be multiplied with minus 3x plus 1. Now, you know these bases are same, so equate whatever is there. 4x plus 2 equals minus 3 times minus 3x will be positive 9x minus 3. Now, solve this up. 9x remains. Take 4x to the other side. Minus 3 to the other side. Be 3 plus 2 equals 9x minus 4x. That is 5 equals to 5x x equals 1. That is your answer. These are the steps. Or you can see over here also the same thing. But they might have uh, yeah, the same thing. Yeah, no, uh, exactly same. So this is how you basically solve this such problems. So here, it's very simple. There are two terms. It's fine. But this one is important. You need to flip it up and down. You know, 9 by 5, they, they have missed a step. So just refer to the step which I've done over here. 9 by 5 the whole cube but now when you flip it the sign changes to minus 3 they have directly written it but this is basically flipped over here same concept over here no over here it's direct one it's 6 to the power 2 and 6 to the power 3 and it goes up so it will be minus that's it so negative exponents and here now we are coming to easy problems 2 to the power uh, 2 and 2 to the power 3 again and this is also again easy 3 power minus 1 and this is 3 cube and directly solving you can see the methods okay over here they have yeah m doesn't matter same thing it'll be minus m over here over here it'll be 3m plus 6 and then solving it here it is in terms of 5 5 square and 5 cube you can easily solve it up then and last problem it's with 6 to the power 1 6 itself over here it's 6 power 2 this is how we solve it. I hope this is clear. It's just about the exponents. Just make sure you understand. Uh, understand by getting this into the base of the other number. The hint is check the two numbers. The smaller number must be the base. We also get in terms of that. So once you understand the question, it's very easy to solve. That was the 16th question. It, it was about exponents. Please make sure you practice more problems. Do them by yourself, solve them by yourself, and then go to check the solutions.